I'm Mel the newbie. I'm Jay the drunk. I mean, <laughs> advocate something. I do a thing. The aficionado. That's you. It's fine. And this is keeping it real. <laughs> Hard. <laughs> With Mel and Jer. That's 519 whiskey. All right. Well, welcome to week two of the Summer Dram series. Hashtag 91 Drams of Summer. So this week is Canadian week since uh, we're encompassing Canada oh, yeah, Day. Yeah, fucking Canada Day. July 1st. So some of these are still locals like last week because, you know, let's face it, when you come from a place that's also called Whiskey Town, Ontario, it's, it's bound to happen. If you live in Windsor, that's where all the good whiskey comes from. Unless yeah. Unless you live... Yeah, no, it's just if you live in Windsor. Yeah, pretty much. Um... So some local stuff, some stuff from the Niagara region. Uh, we actually got one from all the way out on the East Coast this week. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. So first up we have uh, Stock and Barrels Blue Blend Whiskey. A nice 40 percenter. Um, this one came with like its own advertisement on it. When I picked it up at the LC, it was like it was had won a particular uh, whiskey award that I had never heard of, but I am the newbie, so that's doesn't really say a heck of a lot. We're going to try it neat because, you know, yes, we like it on ice typically, but it's worth a shot. All right. There, there's so many awards out there. It's not even like a subject. You can't even subjectively say like, hey, I won this award in this category mm -hmm. that I'm pretty sure we invented for us. Which so, happens a lot. So on the nose on that one, I get like a little bit of anise. Do you get that? No, bueno. That's the stuff they rub on you before you get a shot or a tattoo. <laughs> so. That is what you rub. rub rubbing alcohol, aka mm -hmm. isopropyl alcohol, <laughs> as opposed <laughs> to ethanol, which is the alcohol that we drink, says <laughs> the newbie. I'm not a newbie at science. I'm a newbie at whiskey. Um, yeah. I got it's like. An ice cube too. I got new oak on that. And a little bit of. Bubble, bubble, toil, and travel. The finish is giving me a bit of. Like pine? Oh, you're so better at doing the neat tasting than I am. Yeah. Because you've never smoked. Ah, uh, well, not tobacco, but that's that's another story for another day, kids. Hey, I can smell it now. Oh, all right. What a little you got? bit of ice in it. Opened it up. Actually, yeah. You get that anise? Ah, uh, yes, unfortunately. Fennel, what have you? This one, I don't think has an age statement. I'm double checking it. New make. Yeah. I know there's another release by Stock and Barrel that does have an H thing. Yeah. This, however, is not. No. Or no, it's Blue Barrel and there's Red Barrel or some shit. I love all the different colors with whiskey, right? And there's kind of like that, oh, blue, that association, is like, for example, Johnny Walker Blue Label. A lot, of, a lot of whiskeys, I feel like, use blue for their really high end. So it's interesting to see something that's more new make kind of tap into that subliminal advertising. Thoughts? Not a bad sip. No, it's not. Honest with you. Um, it definitely needs ice, though. Yeah, definitely. It's too new to not be watered down. Moving on to Gibson's Finest Canadian Whiskey. Eight-year-old. Mm, definitely a little more toasty, caramelly. To me, whiskeys, like Canadian whiskeys, have a sort of stereotypical flavor profile that so I have. more copper in this. Okay, yeah, I'll buy that. A smooth, full-bodied whiskey. Yeah, that 46 is a little hot. Hot-ish. I'll admit, I like 40%. It delivers... Stuff. Oh, there, here's here's some fun... The bowl? I get the bowl. The oh, yeah, it's bowl. The yeah. back. Canada's boldest <clears throat> Ryan Cola. I find it interesting that they are encouraging you to mix it with cola. <laughs> well, shall we? I mean, we could. We'll pull it aside. We'll do that note on the end. All right. We don't have good. any cola. Sounds good. We'll find it. Oh, you drank that other can of Coke oh, I brought yeah. over the other day? Oh, they didn't make that. The fatches didn't do us that one. I had chicken wings in the microwave. Mm. More vanilla notes. Mm. I got that really good vanilla from Costco that is actually alcoholic. Nice. <laughs> so it makes it even easier to pick up that note in alcohol. All right. Well, next we're moving on to some rye. This is a hometown hero, J.P. Weiser's Triple Barrel Rye. We're already going in with the ice. Sorry, we're just, I know, I know what we said, but. I know what rye tastes like. We know, and we know what this rye tastes like. I mean, this is a great rye for rye and Cokes. Yeah. Like, this is a pretty basic, 
uh, was it 43.4 percent? Are you? I'm gonna taste. You read the bottle. Pick up some right. fun notes. So this is a J.P. Weiser's um, triple barrel rye. A bold whiskey aged in three select barrels, perfectly balancing rich notes of caramel and oak with distinctive rye spice. <clears throat> yep, I buy all of that. Really cinnamony on the on the yeah. palate and on the finish, which I like. It makes me wonder why people even bother to buy something like um, uh, like Fireball when you can have something that's you know got, doesn't have all that added sugar. I think that's just more of a name at this point. Mm. I think that product just sells itself. It's the official drink of the Woo Girl. Woo! Yeah, you knew me back when I was a Woo Girl. Sure, try That's it. also another story for another day. But uh, we might. We I think we're gonna we're gonna get to that one when we do uh, <clears throat> Flavored Week. More to come. Yeah, definitely. Really cinnamony. It's got the caramel. A little bit toasted. It's just it's all those warm spices like. Like pumpkin pie spice. Yep. I hate I hate to bring it all, you basic white bitch, but if you like a pumpkin spice latte, you'd probably like this rye. Yep. Yeah. While well, we're staying on flavored but not flavored whiskeys. <laughs> See, yeah, this isn't a flavored whiskey. It's not. This is a whiskey that was finished in a maple barrel for a little bit. And it's the Wayne Gretzky number 99 distillery. <clears throat> Mostly because we wanted something different. Everybody's tried the red cask. I personal favorite is the red cask. I recommend it. I have a little nibbler bottle over in the corner <laughs> just in case I want to show off. <laughs> it's a nice bridge between people who like drinking wine <laughs> and maybe want a little entree into whiskey. But this one, yeah, it's not maple flavored, but it is finished in maple casks. So, um, yeah. it's still whiskey. They're sent Don't to, buy it's this still if whiskey. you're looking for maple syrup. Yeah, if stuff. you're if you're looking for a maple flavored whiskey, this is not, not for you. It. Um, but okay, it's sent to a maple syrup producer. Um, they're oak barrels that are used for aging whiskey. They're sent to a, a maple syrup um, producer to be filled with syrup and aged for four months. Once they've bottled their maple syrup, then the barrels come back and get filled with the whiskey, and that's where the maple flavors come in. So. More subtle than just dumping a bunch of. Wait, where can we get whiskey it. maple syrup? Oh my god! That would I feel be like there's another product on this side of this table we're not talking about right now. I mean, where probably. does the whiskey maple syrup live? That's got to exist. I, I just don't have it. But pausing the video to Google this, <laughs> and we're back. I'm just kidding. Oh my god! But I mean, yeah, Unless he knows you know it, and right it's there, just it's now. it's maple syrup and whiskey on the nose, and it's. <laughs> Delicious. If you like pina coladas mm. and having sex in the gym. <laughs> okay, but on the palate, you definitely get more of the oak in there. The maple's still there, it's just not as prominent. Oh, but the finish is pure maple syrup, like I just took a bite of morning pancakes for me. So. And hey, I, I'm here for it. I love it. It's, you know, you, you think of Canada, you think of hockey and maple syrup, and this is it. I mean, this is the one that's going to go up on, on the Insta, on, uh, on... Canada Eve. The Eve, yes, the Eve <coughs> of Canada Day. It's Which should also be a Whiskey Wednesday. Canada I Day Eve do believe it will be Wednesday. a Whiskey Wednesday. Look at that timing. I mean, you can't plan this stuff, people. What do you do on a rainy night in Toronto? <laughs> Drink some whiskey. <laughs> exactly. So you want to ice that down? That's not even bad meat. That no, it's perfect meat. It's ice perfect. Down. Oh my god! You pour great... that in coffee. You could. That is a great intro. If you're <laughs> shit, trying to talk your friends into drinking whiskey, it's okay. I knocked over Glencairn earlier. We had everything lined up for taste, and I was like, "Oh god!" I had like mom-like reflexes to pick it up. One of us has done a bunch of drugs. The other one's Mel. Well, you know. All right. So the Forty Creek Confederation Oak. You talk about the first time you tried this because I'm I'm tried this more recently. I'm just going to savor it a minute. Oh, man. Confederation Oak, Forty Creek. I was at the LCBO. <coughs> Picture it. Sicily, 1927. Yes. Picture it. LCBO, circa 1999. Me, chubby, <laughs> overweight construction worker, probably wearing a safety shirt with a weird farmer's tan. Beard askew, pre mask time, sans the COVID. Um, no, wait, it was 1999. It's 2019, my bad. Better. Um... 
So yeah, standing there and I was like, I had worked out of town with a bunch of guys who had just worked out of town in Grimsby. And they had gone to the 40 Creek um, distillery tour and they highly, highly fucking recommended Confederation Oak. And this is back when it had that new kid on the block shelf, new kid on the shelf fucking price tag of $80, not $70 now. Ah. So I saved up a couple ducats and uh, took the bus down to the liquor store. (laughs) And uh, Took the bus. This man has never not owned a vehicle. Go on. Paint a picture. I love it. So here I am to pay a skew standing there in the liquor store. Um... So yeah, I grabbed this bottle of uh, 40 Creek Federation Oak. I get home and it was kind of like, you know what, it's my birthday, fuck it. Which is why it's not Canada Day special. But hands down, this is still, like if you were to ask me what is my favorite Canadian whiskey, hands down, 40 Creek Confederation Oak. Easy. Top five favorite whiskeys, it's in there. Yeah, easy. And I'm a bourbon guy. So for me, the nose on this is a scent memory. To me, it smells exactly like sitting around my nona's table. You know, she's an Italian immigrant, came here when she was 19, you know, right to Windsor. Um, And sitting around her table and cracking fresh walnuts. It has that walnutty smell to me. It even has sort of that mouthfeel of walnut. And I think it's fantastic. You get more of like the oak on the palate, but to me, again, the finish is back to walnuts and... I don't even think it says anything on there about walnuts, but for me, it has such a comforting, sm- uh, just that, so, you know how sad memories are. They, they drag up all those emotions. And for me, like I wouldn't be a Canadian potentially if it wasn't for my Nona immigrating here, um, you know, in the 19, um, early 1950s. So to me that not only is it a great Canadian whiskey, it also comes with great Canadian stories. Speaking of great Canadian stories, moving <laughs> on to Glenavan Double Barrel. Is that how we're pronouncing that? So yeah, this is our From Way Over Yonder bottle, but still in the Canadian premises. Mm-hmm. Um, the word we just managed to struggle through. Uh, double Barreled Canadian Rye Whiskey Canadian, because French. Mm-hmm. Um, oak matured, crafted, blended, and bottled by Authentic Sea Coast Distilling Company Limited. Awesome. Glenborough, Nova Scotia, Canada. Or, oh no, sorry, Guysboro. I cannot read for shit. That's okay. Uh, I've got my glasses on. <laughs> oh yeah, all right. You tell so us what my, you what you taste. I need my goggles. That far. You, you might. You. New Canadian tradition. The spirit of prairie grain comes to rest by the sea in our distillery on the historic Guysboro Harbor. Fuck, I am blind. Ah uh, well, it happens to the best of us, but that's what they said would happen if you touch yourself too much. Anyway. I touch myself a lot. Is this what actually happens here? <laughs> Let's talk about the rye. No. <laughs> it's kind of hot on the nose. Yeah. It's a 43 percenter. 86 proof for all you people out there. Mm. Yeah, okay, so this is not, unlike the Weiser's rye, I don't, yes, there's spice there, but it's a lot more subtle. It's not super cinnamony. Like, it's good rye because there's mm. no sweet to it, I find, yeah. compared to the, the well, wider rye. That's what you think makes a great rye. Personally, I love the sweetness of rye. So if you don't like sweet rye, this one is one you should check out. Yeah. <clears throat> I would recommend. <clears throat> I feel like this one would get more lost if you mixed it with. Yeah. Coke. If you. Like, then it would just be booze and coke and. But Meanwhile, I mean, like at the, the same time, if you were trying to flex it. on somebody, like, you want a fancy rye and ginger? Here you go. I suppose you could. And then pull them a strong one so they can taste the whiskey, but... Yeah, that's why we drink our whiskeys yeah. with ice. It is. All right, well, our last one of the I week. I find that straight alcohol actually just gives me this weird burning... Like, drinking stuff neat? Yeah. It gives me... No, but it's like... More of a burn than when you have No, rice. not so much that. It's like a prolonged... I think I've burnt mm. my esophagus a few times. Mm, possibly. And it, like feels like that and I just find it more irritating mm. all right last one we're going back to 40 Creek which is in the Niagara region it's in Grimsby great place for wine also a great place for whiskey 
Um, that's where uh, Gretzky is up in that that region as well. Gretzky's pretty much down the road. Yeah. Oh, so what did I said this is the Forty Creek Double Barrel um, Reserve, and yeah, Grimsby, yeah. which is near Hamilton. Um, it's it's forty minutes from our best friend's house, so we're going yeah. on a we're tour. We're definitely going, we're on, going a tour. on a tour. Definitely going on a tour. So this one has a uh, it's a lower price point than the Confederation Oak, but to me it has a lot of the same notes to it. So I can see myself like the Confederation Oak. We've kind of been milking this one. It's like a special occasion bottle, but the double barrel I could see myself buying for a more like day to day sipper and still get the those walnut notes that I really like. Um, you know, at a, at a more economic price point. Let's see. Maybe a little bit of almond too. Just overall nuttiness. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Yeah, the Confederation Oak is smoother. This one's a little rougher around the edges, but oh my gosh, it's so good. Yeah, this one just lives on the next shelf down. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> super tasty the 40 creek's got a couple of other if you're new to whiskey and you want to try something that will that you know you're drinking whiskey and have like flavors that you can look for and what you're looking for in a whiskey as far as like not your basic mixer cheap you know one of the mill stuff they produce like this being the first iteration of 40 creek and then there's like it's the double barrel reserve and then your confederation oak is above that and then there's another release above this that comes out once a year oh, um, i don't see that one i have once and it was like 90 bucks a bottle or something like that mm -hmm. and uh, i do kind of kick myself in the ass for not buying it <laughs> next time next time yeah but um just a nice one to try yeah, no, it's it's a great, like, I would recommend this if you were, like, at the wick, liquor store looking for a whiskey to try to, you know, put the on box. the rocks, sit by. Yeah, if you're looking to try something different from your, you know, run-of-the-mill stuff you see advertised all the time type mm -hmm. deal, then, yeah, try it. Grab a ball. I recommend. Definitely. 10 out of 10 would recommend. We'll drink this again probably several times. Yeah, this this one for me is considering both because okay there's this special like oh my gosh this is these are the top five whiskeys best i've ever tasted yeah. and then for me in my mind there's that list of these are ones i would keep in stock this is one i'd keep in stock both all right the 40 creeks shall be kept in stock yeah 40 creek will be kept in stock all right well that does it for this week and uh we'll uh, see you next week we're moving from the first of july to the fourth of july and doing an american week next week so we'll talk to you then